Hi, uh, I'm Richard Hagensick. This is my uh, attempt at 100,000 plus feet. It simulates to approximately 110,000 feet in Mach 3.24. I guess the uh, unique features are this is the first rocket I built with canted fins to cause it to spin. It has a four tenths of a degree cant, which is theoretically going to make it spin at uh, two times per second at the maximum speed. So I haven't done that before and it, it does introduce, you know, balance issues and electronics issues. So I guess we'll see how it goes. The other new feature is this is a, uh, the first single grain finisil motor. So the grain is like uh, 65 inches long, all poured at one time and uh, with 22 inches of uh, finisil on the aft end of the grain and it has a super progressive burn. So the starting thrust is like 800 pounds, nine seconds in, it's up to like 2,700 pounds, uh, like a 27 to one thrust to weight ratio at that point. So it's like 1200 PSI. So it's, I guess if I'm worried about anything, nine seconds in will tell the tale as to whether it hangs together or not. So other than that, I. Also soldered the fin tabs on this time, so I have some concerns about whether the tempering on the tube has been damaged. And uh, the fin tabs were cut on a CNC machine to get that precision four tenths of a degree uh, angle. Electronics, uh, Arts 2 and a uh, Raven 2, fully redundant. I mean, they have, each has their own E matches, their own CO2 charge and what have you. Uh, everything comes out the top stroke chute, uh, which is attached to a floating piston, and then at the lower altitude, the uh, ARRD releases the, the cable holding the piston in, which pulls out the main, which should occur at 2,000 feet. And we do also have a GPS flight, GPS on it, that hopefully we'll be able to track it, I guess, and see how it goes. So that's pretty much it. All right, well, we got a lot going on. Good luck. Yeah, well, thanks. <laughs>